which means that uh, you can pull the video image from the front bumper, rear bumper, or from one of each side mirrors. Uh, this feature is very helpful when you're parking at a tight spot, like at the garage, for example, or if you need a little bit more reassurance uh, on the position of the car uh, on the left. So moving on to the side of the vehicle. Oh, and by the way, each mobile compact is very attractive. Running lights. Uh, these are called four camera lights. Very, very uh, aggressive, very attractive uh, because these, you know, these, you know, light diodes, they come, you know, they come live as you drive. Going here to the side of the car, this particular vehicle is equipped with uh, all season, all season tires made by Pirelli. Uh, uh, they are high performance. You know, tires and they're good in uh, in any season in any weather. Very, very good, very attractive rims. Uh, this particular comes uh, this particular car comes equipped with uh, all three packages. There's a climate package which gives you heated seats in the front and in the rear. Uh, the inscription trim also comes with ventilated seats. You also get uh, heated wiper blades. And uh, that's all about the front package. Uh, as far as the advanced package, this vehicle comes equipped with the heads-up display. It comes with a surround view camera that I just described to you a second ago. Uh, the air quality cleaner, the advanced air quality cleaner, and the heads-up display that I will show you how they work from the inside of the car. So moving to the rear of the car. We have an extremely roomy, uh, extremely roomy trunk for a fairly small car. There is a 12 volt socket here for your power cleaner, a vacuum cleaner, for example. A hardliner comes standard uh, with each roller, so you can, you know, go play golf or throw some, you know, sports gear, and you know, this thing will stay nice and clean. So that's the trunk stand. Many of you might not know, but Volvo came out with a new with a new drivetrain, with a new engine for S60s, B90s, S90s, and XC60 models. So, uh, what does this V5 mean? This vehicle is a mild hybrid. It comes with with a two-liter engine that produces 245 horsepower, and then it also comes with the uh, with a 48 volt electrical battery. This is a uh, self-enclosed unit, you do not have access to it, you know, the battery gets regenerated as you drive around town and apply brakes. So what makes it different from the more traditional C5 engine is that this engine gets, like I said, an additional battery which packs uh, 13 horsepower out of that electrical unit. Also this car comes uh, with the electrical supercharger. Uh, what does that mean to you for a driver? means that you have an access to extra torque, extra power at the lower RPMs. So you can definitely win the race uh, out of the stop sign, out of the stop line. Looking in uh, rear space, again, very generous, very roomy for a not so big of a car. You know, definitely not for your medium to small size family. Let's go inside the vehicle. All right guys, inside of the brand new 2022 Volvo S60, uh, you have a very familiar nine inch census infotainment system. This screen operates as if this was an iPad. You have three screens to it. The main screen here uh, encloses navigation. I promise you it works well after it goes through the appropriate service or pre-delivery inspection. So anyway, uh, the main screen, you have your navigation, music. Uh, this is where you can make or receive calls from your cell phone. And this is a placeholder for whatever last operation you did with the car. The climate bar can be found at the bottom. 
it always stays static, doesn't matter which stream you are in. So this particular com, you know, car comes with a heated steering wheel, heated seats for the left side, and then obviously just the heated seats for the passenger. The car also comes equipped with the, uh, with the voice activation button, so you can control several ele elements of the car just by using your voice. You can control uh, you know, music, radio, t uh, you know, telephone, the climate, or navigation. So you, so you don't have to basically engage too much with the screen as you're driving uh, on a road. Use those voice commands. Uh, going back to the screen, the right screen here has to do with all the media features. This is where you go to pair a phone or change radio frequency. Uh, this car you know, comes e equipped standard with uh, Apple CarPlay and uh, Android Auto. These two tiles will light up once you have your phone plugged into the center uh, armrest. There. Also part of the advanced package, you have this very nifty wireless phone charger, inductive phone charging system. Works with most brands of uh, smartphones. Another uh, interesting point here uh, in this particular trim, which is inscription once again, you have this beautiful, very ornate Orifers crystal. Uh, Orifers is a company based out of Sweden. Um, they basically manufacture high-end you know, kitchenware and you know, cutlery and uh, you know, things of that nature. So, you know, very nice, interesting touch here. Um, this is the home button. It rolls us back to the middle screen. This screen here has to do with all the with all the safety features of the vehicle. You can you know turn things on and off any way you like, and the vehicle settings memorizes your previous input, so you don't need to go into here uh, to activate wireless phone charger, for example. On older models, there was a physical lever here. Um, uh, it was like a small roller that allowed you to choose different drive modes. For the 2022 model, uh, the mode selector is here on the screen. So this is how you access you know, different driving modes and different driving schemas. Um, every Volvo comes equipped with the standard safety mirror features. Volvo never upcharges you for safety. It doesn't matter how expensive or inexpensive the vehicle is. Uh, some of the interesting things to point out here, uh, we won't go over each of these tiles, but um, a cool thing that I just recently learned, for example, uh, these tiles are adjustable, so you can rearrange them any way you like to make it a little bit more personal. Uh, I'd like to point out this camera feature here. This is how the 360 view works. Um, you have four cameras, like I said, one on each side of the car, and the computer assembles you know, the image as if there was a camera from, you know, from above. I don't think we closed the trunk properly, so there should be an image here in the back, so we'll double check that in a second. Okay, back home. Uh, some of the interesting features that are very specific to Volvos, or I guess that Volvo innovated uh, in the area, um, you have the cross traffic alert. This feature allows you to back out from the spot safely. You have a set of radars that are scanning the situation uh, you know, behind your car, 90 feet to the right and 90 feet to the left. As you're backing out from the spot, if there's another car or, or child on the bicycle approaching, uh, the vehicle will alert you. If you're not stopping, the car will stop for you. Um, this feature you know, saved my, my rear a few times on these you know, very busy lights uh, that we work on. Also, another interesting feature to point out, uh, there is a connected safety, you know, tile it over there. Uh, what does that do? Essentially, Volvos are able to project information to each other. So for instance, if, you, if you're driving, you know, down the highway and a few miles down the road, there is a Volvo that is either slipping or they have their, you know, hazard lights on or there's an issue that pertains to safety. If that Volvo has this feature on and your vehicle does as well, the Volvo, uh, the two cars will communicate to each other and let you know that there is area of concern, you know, down your route. So this is very specific to Volvo, you know, vehicles. Um, you know, very safe car, very cool feature to have. Um, um, another. Another two features that I personally love, uh, and these are two of my most favorites, you have active bending lights. 
when you're driving uh, in the dark time of the day as you turn your steering wheel the entire headlight rotates with you in the direction of your turn it moves about 30 degrees to the right or to the left as you rotate your steering wheel um, another cool lighting feature uh, has to do with the corner uh, with the corner illumination uh, so this button basically allows you to see better in the direction of your turn by by turning on the fog lights in the direction of your turn so you so you're going right the fog lights will illuminate for a split second if you go left um, the left side uh, your fog lights will go off um, what is another interesting about this particular car uh, this this car comes equipped with a heads-up display. Uh, this is a fairly new feature for our cars. Uh, it's kind of hard to see from this angle. You need to be either sitting back or kind of looking looking straight ahead. So um, I don't know if you can tell, but this digital display it projects the speed, the speed limit, or arrows from navigation onto the windshield. So about two inches above the dash, uh, you will see an assisted. Uh, information you know technology that you know gives you some sort of information uh, what's useful about that is that you do not need to you know, get distracted from the road it is being brought up straight in front of you the view from the back we have very cool uh, feature here uh, your rear passengers are able to to control their own their own climate settings so this vehicle essentially comes with four climate zones one two and two in the back with the uh, heated seats for the rear passengers as well uh, many people wonder if this car comes with the carplay uh, which it does it is not wireless unfortunately you need to run a cord to this you know frame cord uh, on my right side through there so you have a total of two ports one is a charging port another one interfaces your smartphone onto the screen and essentially you use your screen as if it was your iphone or your tablet or your android device you have uh, your emergency brake this is kind of unusual these days there is no physical lever any longer this is electrically assisted so to turn the the parking brake on you move this up and to turn it off you put your foot on brake pedal and then move this down like so also with these with these new drivetrains um, the gear selector is called drive-by-wire it has no physical you know gears that you go through uh, this joystick basically allows you to switch gears and it returns to the original uh, uh, original position on the on the console here so you basically roll through gears in such a way and furthermore there is no there is no gear to park you gotta press this button to activate the you know the parking brake like so uh, and no this car does not have a CD player I, I keep getting those questions time and again uh, so let's set the you know record straight um, Unfortunately, if you are an avid CD collector, you have to digitize your, your music or your podcast and just play it from your phone or from the Bluetooth. Questions. 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 To watch it live. Uh, uh, you need to like us on Facebook to watch it live. Uh, you know, that day. Uh, again, thank you very much. Thank you very much for your attention, and uh, we'll see you in.